The target audience for Howl FM is both men and women between the ages of 24 to 25. We know this due to the Howl FM listener profile on the Bauer Media website. They also get 41.2% of the ABC profile that the station reaches. The music choice on Big John is modern adult contemporary, as this is the most listened to type of music by the age range that they are trying to broadcast to. They know that at this time in the morning, the people of ages that they are trying to reach are more than likely driving to work, and there is a strong chance that the person or people will be listening to the radio. Therefore, the station will play the music that that person or the people will listen to. The adverts that are on Big John are likely to appeal to the audience. There is an advert for Subway on the show. This will appeal to the audience as it is a unisex advert due to it being non-gender specific. As it is fast food and has many franchises around most cities, it is accessible for people on their lunch break, as well as being appealing to an ABC1 profile character as it is for people with disposable income. Also, it will appeal to the age that it targets because the age it will appeal to are more than likely health conscious and willing to try new things. The advert about drink awareness targets the audience very well, as most of the audience will partake in the consumption of alcoholic beverages due to the fact that the people they target are above the legal drinking age. Again, it is not gender specific, so there are no exclusions for the audience, and buying alcohol will be from a disposable income, so it will appeal to the ABC One listeners. To advertise and get the listenership of women on the show, there are many offers available to women. There is currently an offer from the Class Spa Health and Beauty. This offer will appeal to the modern day working woman, as many women like spa days to relax and wind. So by tempting them with a half price deal, they can also entice them to spend more money at the spa. This offer targets ABC One Profile, because they are the people who have the disposable income to splash out on things that are not considered necessities. To advertise for men, to boost the amount of listeners, there is a competition to win a set of DIY tools. The company that makes these tools donates them. This will help the company entice the male viewers to check out the prize, which may tempt them to buy products from them. As these are high performance power tools, they are usually expensive, so they appeal to the listener who has a high disposable income. Usually DIY is done by people around the target age too, due to the fact that usually they DIY in their own home and they're not too old yet to need help in these situations. One of the latest discussions on the show is about Big John's wife having a baby. The choice of topic here is an excellent one because there is a good chance that the listeners of the show will have children as well. This will make the topic relatable for the audience which means the show is able to set up call-ins from the listeners so they can ring in and discuss having children or in fact helping to give an audience to Big John by giving advice. This will make the listener feel as though they are wanted and needed by the radio station. This helps Hallam interact with their audience and maintain a strong listenership. The Big John at Breakfast show utilises the features of having the internet on their show, as it has a Twitter and a Facebook page. By having these pages they can get more of the audience involved, more than they can just by phone calls. They are able to interact with the audience and receive feedback in just minutes. The audience are likely to participate, as most of them are between the age of 24 to, 20 to 45, and they will have a smartphone, which will help them on the go. The Uses and Gratifications of Media Texts In 1987, communication theorist Dennis McQuayle suggested there are four main reasons why people use media. For personal identity, to guide your own behaviour and personality. Personal relationship, as a basis for social conversations. Surveillance, to find out information about something, and escapism, for entertainment, to get away from normality. These tell us why members of the audience listen to the radio, watch TV, and read the newspapers. So, how do these theories fit into the average Hallam FM programming, like Big John at Breakfast? Well, we can listen to a couple of clips and discuss this. Personal identity is shown on the show by the use of local advertisements. These can tell listeners where to shop, buy cars and home furniture and other things like that. This allows the local businesses to advertise all their products and attract a local audience. Personal relationships are shown on the show from the interaction that they have with the audience. Things discussed like new music, news updates, public stories, vox pops and interviews are discussed by the presenters on the show. 
Hallam keeps its listeners up to date with the news, with news updates every 15 minutes. There's also evidence of surveillance on Hallam's website, which keeps the readers up to date with local news and national news. Big John at Breakfast shows elements of escapism for its audience and lets them choose what music they listen to whilst featuring specialist music hours like school years. The consumption of media theory was invented by Jeremy Tunstall in 1983. He says that particular types of media are classed into three types based on a level of attention during consumption. These are primary consumption, where you do concentrate on the media, for example when watching TV and there's no distractions. Secondary, are using while you're doing something else, like reading a newspaper on the bus. Tertiary, a subliminal or background consumption, like advertisements and billboards, as you will walk past them in your day, but you may not fully be aware of them. The radio can now be listened to on the internet, on TV channels, or on the go using mobile devices, simultaneously broadcasted. This is called simulcasting. Where one media text is portrayed across many platforms, it is called technological convergence, and this is because of the technology developments that we've had in the past few years.